believe in private property rights, our Second Amendment rights to keep and bear arms, and according to the uh, rating organizations in Texas, I'm 116% pro-life. You want to be <laughs> How do you give an extra 16 percent? Well, if you file bills, pro-life bills, or you join a COA that pro-life goes, you get extra points, and, and uh, I'm just totally pro-life. Among all these things, I am also a Jeffersonian, as Thomas Jefferson was a supporter of nullification. Jeffersonian democracy is a political philosophy which supports a federal government with greatly constrained powers and it advocates a strict interpretation of the U.S. Constitution. As Thomas Jefferson said, when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes a duty, and that's the duty that we have today, to resist what's coming out of Washington. <laughs> Nullification is a procedure which states, which states should use when it becomes clear that edicts from Washington are totally unconstitutional. The Texas legislature goes into session in January of next year. In November, we can start filing bills. I will file a nullification bill, which is being drafted now. <laughs> and this bill, this bill is a nullification bill in direct regards to Obamacare, to the health care bill. <laughs> I will continue to file nullification bills against other ridiculous bills that are in the United States Congress, like cap and trade, like the fact they want to make us register our guns and our income tax returns. All these things are unconstitutional, and I will file as many nullification bills as necessary to tell Washington your actions are null and void. We're not going to do them in Texas. They are unconstitutional, and we have a right to stop them. We always ask God in prayer and song to bless America. But I conclude with this question. How long will God continue to bless America if America doesn't bless God? God was with us in the very beginning. Our forefathers wrote in the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I love the Lord. I want God here in the United States. I don't care what they do in Washington. <laughs> we have to continue to pray. And the prayer that I love best is the prescription that God Himself gave us. In 2 Chronicles 7, 14, where he said, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, and I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and heal their land. God bless you for being here today. And God bless Texas. And thank you for allowing us to